Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim and today we are out in one of our hunting fields and you guys know how much I love hunting here on Ridge Life. Well you can see I've let this field grow up and we have got to get a food plot in here very very soon but the problem is to get the tractor all around the edges I've got to cut down all those low hanging branches. They'll just knock the exhaust right off my tractor. Um, makes it very difficult to get up under there. Uh, and that's where those deer come walking out of the woods. And you got to get that cleaned all the way to the tree line. Otherwise, you'll never see the deer come out until it's too late and they're looking at you. So we've got to get out all along this edge here today and cut them low hanging branches. And I have got the tool to do it. We're going to try something out new today. Let's do this. Normally when I'm out here clearing off trees and brush for, for deer season, uh, I use my steel farm boss chainsaw with an 18 inch bar. It's big, it's heavy, but I really don't, I don't want to have to lug that thing around, all that gasoline, the oil, you know, all that mixed stuff, just to get these trees overhanging like what's above me. I want, I want something light, I want something portable, and I want something electric this time. So check this out, guys. Today we're going to use a six inch battery powered chainsaw. I think this would be great for these limbs like this right here. I just pull them down, zoop, cut them all off. And I'm anxious to see how long this thing lasts. I will do an unboxing for you here in just a second and let you look at what's inside. And then we're gonna get out and get all of these trees around this field done. And guys, if the batteries last, we may go off around other parts of the Ridge property and do some more work with this as well. If we like it, if it's a product we like, we'll put the description, or put the link to it in the description down below so you can get one for yourself. If it ain't worth nothing, you ain't gotta get it. But uh, we'll see how it works. First off, I see we've got a very nice carry case. Looks like it should protect our equipment very well, keep all our accessories together. We open it up, let's see what we have inside. We have, starting off, a manual. This is our Natidi user manual for our mini chainsaw. And again, this is a six inch chainsaw, guys. Look at this, hopefully this thing does us very, very well today. Um, get this out of the package, see what we've got here. It looks like it already comes with a chain chain installed that is very very nice very very handy looks like we've got a tool on the side here uh, battery goes right here it is black and that's like a yellowish orange like an industrial i think uh, we have adjustments oh uh, this thing is very very nice let's go see what else we have in our container here looks like we've got some safety gloves some safety gloves we've got some safety glasses and uh, comes with the package we have a uh, tool a screwdriver uh, for adjusting our saw we've got a ac power adapter and we have two batteries two uh, 2000 milliamp hour lithium ion batteries this is a 21 volt system so we've got two of these oh wow guys we have an extra chain they actually have given us an extra six inch chain all the specs on the back here uh, i am very very excited to try this out today you can see everything stores very very neatly inside we've got our battery compartments we've got our uh, charger our tools our safety equipment the saw sits right in the case just like that before we get started using it i want to show you how to change the chain out okay, it did come with another chain take this cover off right here and that one that will has uh, the protective guide will come off with it that will expose the chain you can uh, remove your chain that is either um, become too loose to tighten or uh, can no longer be sharpened. Yes, you can sharpen this little bitty chain. Uh, the chain pack has the, uh, the pitch you need to use to do that. Um, so once you've done that, you just tighten it back up and then you have to adjust the tightness of your chain. And usually uh, you see if you pull one or two or, th or pull two or three of the teeth out of the groove, you'll know that that's about the right tightness. So this right here is just the right tightness. If you need to adjust the tightness, you grab the screw that came with it and right here, guys, right here, see if you can see that, right there is a screw, and you just stick your screwdriver down inside here, tighten this clockwise, and that will tighten this chain nice and tight. So to use this, this saw, all you gotta do is uh, attach your battery, slide it right in here, boom, just like that. And don't forget, you also got this uh, tool here. You can adjust your uh, chain tightness while you're in the field. That makes it very, very nice. So put that right back in there. And then this, this saw is ready to use. So again, 21 volt, 2000 milliamp hour. This is your safety switch. You can't pull the trigger with a safety switch not engaged. And also don't forget this guard will keep things from uh, uh, getting in the way of the blade. So push the safety switch in, pull the trigger, 
and we have power. I figure if I stand in the back of the Kubota, I should be high enough to tractor can clear out. Anything I can reach from this eye, the, the tractor should clear. So let's grab our first branch and uh, actuate the safety switch, get the uh, chainsaw turned on. First cut. Whoa! That was quick. I'm gonna let you see for yourself how powerful this is. This is again the second cut I've made uh, with our Natati six inch chainsaw. Let's see how quickly it goes through this oak branch right here. Whoa! Now that's, that's this is gonna be so convenient. Let's go ahead and uh, do some time lapse and just tear out all these overhangs. first incident the chain came off now we've already got about half of our field done and uh, I didn't check the chain tightness let's go ahead and tighten the chain so it looks like our nut came loose which allowed the um, the bar to loosen up so all we got to do is take off our cover don't lose that washer right there get your handy dandy tool out ah, I got a hornet <laughs> all right got that hornet clear so now um, all I got to do is get the chain back on the bar back on the bar like so and you may have to uh, loosen up your screw to get the uh, oh the hornets back let's see if i can get this done before he gets me all right so if i get this on there and on the bar spot so i need to loosen that up some more just loosen this screw up some more Now it goes right over, boom. So we are on. So now I just need to get the cover back on. Covers on. Tighten that up this time. Now see we're loose. So we need to tighten up our bar. Let's tighten, tighten, tighten. Get that screw right there. Tighten. And it should tighten that right up. Now, as you're tightening your chain up, make sure your nut's not too loose, otherwise it won't allow it to slide. So you're just gonna make sure that when you get it, you get a pop like that. Nice. Chain is tight. About 104 heat index today, but we have made quick work of this field. We've got all of the uh, the field edge trees that overhang uh, cut back, so now I can get the tractor right up to the tree line, clear that out, so we can see in the woods when the deer come out just before you know the sun goes down or in the morning when we're deer hunting, they'll 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 hold up right there at that tree line before they come out in the field. And uh, with all this cut back, I'll be able to see them, get my eyes on them guys. So uh, we have got this field done. I don't know how many trips we just did. I still, my battery is still good. First battery is still good. Did have that chain come off one time, popped it right back on. 
Let's get on to the Ridge farmhouse, clear some trees up there while we still got battery left. Battery last, we'll move over to the Ridge log home. See if we can uh, do some damage there to some uh, trees that are in the way when we mow. Put this saw to the test, so let's do this. Well, we had the saw blade come off again, or the chain. Um, very easy to put back on. I think it's the third time I've had it happen. And uh, just pop it back on, tighten it back up. So far, so good. Pop that thing right back on, good to go. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these branches taken off. Ooh, it's like that. Opens this, opens this uh, log home right up.
I am tired. I ain't telling you how many loads I have cut and dumped. I didn't show you half of them, but we got the hunting field cleared. We got around the farmhouse, the Ridge farmhouse cleared, and now we've got around the Ridge log home cleared. So the lawnmower zero turn can get under the, the cut areas. The tractor can get under the field areas. This six inch chainsaw is the bomb. And, and guys, I only went through one battery. Matter of fact, I didn't even go through one battery. One battery is still cutting. Didn't show any signs of, uh, of getting fatigued. So I've got another charged battery. I just gotta charge this one up and uh, man, I am good to go. So I will put the link to this. Uh, it's an Amazon link down in the description of this video. Uh, I do appreciate it if you get, I am not, this is not a paid promotion. Uh, this was sent to me and uh, I put it to use and gave it a, a full thorough review guys. Um, if you like today's video, if you like reviews, how-tos, farm living, hunting, fishing, subscribe to Ridge Life. I'd sure appreciate it. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And as always, I hope everyone has a blessed day and go Ridge Life. One last thing I want to see if we can cut through a, uh, what, a three or four inch uh, cedar tree here. Uh, this battery has been worked, worked, worked hard today. So it's not a full battery and this, the blade, you know, the, the chain I've been using like crazy. Let's see how well it cuts this cedar. Woo, like butter, everybody.